Hello everyone, I'm B, uh, voice of Trevor Vantross and writer and producer for Parallel to Anywhere. I'm super excited to show you this New Year's special, slash episode zero, just to give you a taste of the major characters. Um, episode one should be releasing sometime in January, so stay tuned for that. If you want to keep in touch with the project, you can find us on our Discord server or at P2 Anywhere on Twitter. We are a small startup show, and we're super excited that so many people are already interested in our uh, planes hopping, time traveling adventures. So, um, word of mouth is the best way to show others. So, if you like what you hear this episode, feel free to pass it around. We're super excited to get things going. And speaking of getting things going, I shouldn't keep you much longer. Let's start the episode. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and all that shit? Hey everyone, I'm back just in... Refer? Hi, Rosara. Uh, where's everyone else? Bisman, Mai, Hawk, and Rowan. Who else? Well, they all had a New Year's Eve party. You know, like people with social lives. Class traitors. You know, I shouldn't even ask. But yeah, they went out for the night, and honestly, I doubt they will be back anytime this year. Haha. <laughs> well, so it's just us, huh? That's what I've been saying, yeah. When I want to go to the ball drops. Yeah. I wish it could be where they do those film shoots. Everyone's always dancing to famous musicians, or just being close by for the magic showcase with the ball drops. That sounds like way too many people for my taste, personally. I think I would prefer to not be freezing my ass off as well. You wouldn't risk a little frostbite to be on TV? Plus, that looks like so much fun! I in no way endorse your definition of fun. Oh, come on! My definition of fun is being here, cozy, with my blanket and my coffee. Not even hot cocoa for the holiday season? Jeff, I'm not gonna take coffee light, but I can get actual coffee. Hot cocoa is not coffee light. It's coffee for babies who don't drink coffee. Binge. I didn't realize you felt this strongly about hot cocoa, Trap. It's a holiday classic. Just like snowball fights. Yeah, no. And cheesy animated movies. You just called them cheesy. Why would I want to watch them? I thought you liked watching Rudolph with me. It was nostalgic, but even then. Besides, this is New Year's Eve. You're mixing up your holiday traditions there, bud. I mean, I guess, but I mean, I'd much rather be there in Chromo Square instead of just here watching on TV. Jeff, what is the longest you've been able to sit still? That is a difficult question, especially when you consider test lengths. Let's say long enough to watch Rudolph. Fair enough, but my point stands. You would think the prestigious Hakora Academy would have some kind of New Year's event for students here. They assume most of us went home, kiddo. Oh. Yeah. Besides, how much mingling do you think students would want to do on campus grounds when nearby taverns are open? I mean... Yeah, New Year's Eve is usually an excuse to get drunk, huh? At least as long as I've known it. Yeah... Like I said, hot cocoa is more than enough for me. I am not eager to drink in any sort of capacity like that. I couldn't even tempt you with a little wine or something to start the new year? Do we have sparkling cider? Yeah, we have kids' wine. I think I'll go with that, personally. No worries. Do you mind if I at least crash on the couch with you? The blanket has room for two. Thanks, Rosara. Where'd you head off to, anyway? Oh, I got more chocolate pretzels. Why? Why did you get the peppermint ones? Because I have holiday cheer, Rosara. They were on clearance and you grossly underestimated the price, didn't you? Holiday cheer! Sure. Do you want some? Of course I do. I thought you were complaining a second ago. Snacks are snacks, Trevor Vantross. That is abundantly fair. So, any cool things happened this year you want to reflect on? I mean, there had to have been some stuff, even though on the whole it kinda... Blue? Yeah, <laughs> that. I mean, I got to take you to your first pride. 
Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was hard to find purple clothing for it, though. I usually tend to go closer to green color-wise. Yeah, I know, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I'm glad you agreed to come along. Of course I did. It meant a lot to you, and I wanted to see what it was like. Yeah, I understand. What about you? Is there anything you were happy about this year? I mean, I was able to keep my scholarship stable this year again, which I'm thankful for. Yeah, I mean, it keeps you here, so I think it's a good thing. Oh, Rosara. I mean, it's more of a benefit to you than me. After all, where would you be without me to clean up your messes? Ah, and the goodwill is gone. Don't forget, you aren't out of the woods with the get with Chronomancy. We still have that final project coming up. Yeah, I am not looking forward to that. You and me both, kid. Learning all the ins and outs of time travel on paper is just math, which is fine. Ew. I'm acting like you didn't say that. I don't know what would cause my best friend to be a math apologist, but continue. I will continue, English dork. Rude. My point was, I feel that the act of actually doing a major carnomancy project on someone or something will be a lot different than all of the work we've done so far. It's more than a little nerve-wracking, I guess. Yeah, but on the other hand, it could be a lot of fun. Yeah, more fun than the fall down the stairs project you had. I think it was a good incentive to learn kernel shifting. You know, now that I think about it, watching you repeatedly fall down a flight of stairs was a little more amusing than I initially gave it credit for. I mean, I figured out how to stop. It went on long enough for me to enjoy it. That may not be something you should be proud of. Eh. Regardless, I know we can handle that project. After all, you have the best project partner, right? What? I'd like to meet him sometime, but since he must be always out of class sick, you will have to do, I suppose. Hey, we haven't bombed a project yet. Thanks to who? I'd like to think it's a team effort. Okay, I I'll let you think that, Trev. I can't believe you're spending the last hour of the year insulting your best friend. Think about it, Trev. The first words of the new year could be ma me making fun of you. What an honor. Exactly! I think it's a true honor and privilege, personally. What luck for my glorious presence to be the first one you bask in on this eve of a new year. That was the most poetic bullshit I've ever heard you spew. I don't do it often, but when I do, I go all the way. Oh, Clearly. Well, Treff, since I guess bullying each other isn't the last thing I want to end on this year, I think I have a way to go on a bit of a high note. That doesn't involve drinking? Nah, none of that. Oh, well then spit it out. Well, I meant to get you th this for you as a holiday gift, but... The campus store was out of stock. You don't do super duper layaway and buy it back in the middle of the summer? Wow, Rosara, I thought you were the responsible planner. Shut the fuck up and open the package before I use your own gift to bash your brains in. Alright, alright. Only because the alternative is getting my brains bashed. I would do it. I don't doubt it. Here you go, Trevor. Well, I guess I'd better open this carefully and- Just kidding! I know, I know, you being a chronomancer has not been the most popular choice for you back home. I know some things back home in general haven't been super great, but I want you to know there's someone backing you up. Regardless of how much you drive me up a wall. Rosara, is this... The chronomancy student jackets, yeah. Rosara, these sell out super fast. If... If you didn't show up on day one for freshman sign-up, they're almost impossible to get. I mean, like, the class jackets are the only piece of campus merch students like. Yep. You got this for me? You like... I got mine at the start and can wear it whenever I feel like. I just... I'm glad we met, Trev. Regardless of all the weirdness in between. So even if Cardamancy wasn't your first choice or anything, I appreciate that it got us here. Thank you, Rosara. I, I really appreciate it. Of course, Jeff. Now, go blow your nose, because it's about to be the countdown. Okay. I'm also going to go put this on. Jeff, if you get sparkling cider on your new jacket ten minutes after I got it for you, I will strangle you. I'll be careful, don't worry. So, you do realize next year it'll be just us for the full time, yeah? Next year or next school year? Next school year, don't be pedantic, Triff. That's my job. Right, yeah. It's gonna be weird being without the others. Agreed, but I think we could get through it.
Me too. I guess being alone isn't so bad if you're alone with your best friend, huh? Yeah. So, thanks for being here, Treff. Here's to another year of the same old bullshit. And many more. Treff, it's at the end of birthdays, not New Year. <laughs>